Hi, John here. Today is the 30th of August 2016, and it's Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> I'm just uh, thinking about my court hearing. Uh, it's supposed to be yesterday with Shannon Withers, barrister from Vulcan Chambers uh, Lawyers on Vulcan Lane, Auckland Central. Now, I just want to make this point clear to you people who have been watching Cook Street property for over six years uh, since I've always had a problem with the land title. It was covered up by police and here again covered up by the justice system in the court, the Auckland District Court covered up the tracks of the police again and now the lawyers and barristers. Shannon Withers, this one's for you. All of these documents and that book that was used to arrest me is fraudulent. You are running a scam fraud in the Bar Association with these documents that has neither seal of the bar, seal of the court, or seal of the Queen of Britain when she's not there. And there's no Queen above the judge's head. And to make matters worse, these documents were used to arrest me in my house, and then the judge dismissed the case used by the police to arrest me with all these police fashion documents. They weren't fashioned or designed by the Bar Association, but the police themselves. One, Detective Natalie Flower Do Brown, CIB, Criminal Investigation Bureau and Branch of Auckland Central Police Station. You're now liable because your police minister spirited you away to Solomon Islands to get you right away from these documents you put together to create fraud and corruption of the legal system here and took you right out so that you would not be brought into court. I had a subpoena <coughs> granted to me by the judge. Collins. You changed the judge, see? There was a different judge in the court that day on Monday. This week. Monday. My court hearing date I never had. I never had my day in court on the 27th of August 2016. I'm making this public complaint. They say, oh, go just what you said, Shannon, with us. This, this is you. You're the one on the trial here now because you used these documents that were considered fraudulent by the judge and he still used them to cash the money against my birth certificate. That's the offence of you helping yourself to the money of my inheritance. Everybody's watching this video, Shannon. <clears throat> I'm taking you into court because you're corrupted. You're a corrupted man and your whole company, Vulcan Chambers, is corrupted. This police law, these documents, with the police logo on it, on these documents, with the police logo on it right here, summary of facts. See, there? This logo is not a seal of the court, isn't a seal of the Queen <coughs> or Westminster Parliament, Government, UK. It means nothing in law to arrest me with those documents. The, all these thick documents and everything Natalie Flower do put together, she's not going to get away with it. I'm just saying, all these documents of us humiliating us in the public was thrown out, thrown out of the court. Police versus Wānoa. Look, look at the name in capitals. What the hell does that 
message seen to people in the world watching this case of you committing a real crime in front of the Pope who put these laws together, the UCC laws inside these documents. And you were warned, I warned you, that the Pope destroyed them. You waited till after the court ruled, the judge ruled, then you said they're no good, that the Pope is no good. Well, I'm going to take it to the highest court in the world, up in England, to slam in your face. Shannon Withers, you're the biggest crook out here with me as my barrister that never had me in front of the judge. You just ruled without me. You used my documents and my citations in that court to help the judge and his fraud court. See, Exhibit 14. See, all these exhibits I gave to you. And you use them for your own financial investment interests of winning the court case for the judge with these fraudulent, corrupted documents. I'm pointing this out to you because I'm accusing you now. I'm accusing you and the police for corrupting the whole legal system in the world. There, that, that there is the most offensive documents that have no court seals on them. Nothing, nothing, just a whim, and just get rid of it like that. It just shows that all those people in Cook Street that put up a big fuss would get wiped out of court because they had no substance evidence. There was no evidence to stack up against that law. Now tell me, Shannon, tell me whose documents got those marshals off their case because I told you I had nothing to do, do with them. I had nothing to do with them. They were on a contract that they failed to get that land block of Cook Street back to me. I'm now going to have to take these documents and you into the High Court in London and they'll deal with you and show that you are a crook. Like I'm saying, you're a crook like the rest of these police in this country in the courts. I've yeah, caught you out. I've caught you all out. That's what this video is for today. It's to show how much trouble you put me through to protect your own financial investment interests and not mine or the public of New Zealand. You took it upon yourself to create these fraudulent documents and they failed to save the owners of the 77 Cook Street and all those tenants and the businesses that tampered with my information and now the, the marshals, if they've been using these documents, the High Court in London and the military will find out and you're all going to go under the court hammer from UK jurisdiction I'm going under with my own company there, Maui Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited, British creditor company. It's a creditor company of a corporate trust that's going to sting this lot on you. It's going to pin all of you in that courthouse without me in that court. That's why I didn't go in there, because it's toxic. I didn't want to be part of that, because you told me, oh my text message to me that my proof that my court hearing was this Monday, not the last Monday, on the 27th, uh, on, on the day our court hearing was, was supposed to be. You put me off three times. You put me off three times. You wanted me right out of the way so that you could rule without me and my information used on those boys those marshals, those Maori marshals, UN uh, marshals, <coughs> to get them off, not me, them, because you excluded me out of that hearing. I told you I was there, I told you I was there, but I went there to see what was going on. I caught you all. And your intention was to leave me out on that day, clearly, caught you. And Natalie Flower, Dew Brown's handwriting all over this. It's all over this. 
the judges handwriting, the registers, deputy registers, handwriting is all over there. Someone's going to have to own up to the other trustee of my contract with Natalie Flower Do Brown. This contract here is what Natalie came through this door with. It's a commercial contract. I'm in commercial contracts. Anybody that's been tampering with these are going to go for skate a trillion pounds each year. I don't care what you say. That's our rule. That's our rules, right, under this flag. Kingi Toto, if you're watching this video, like a lot of people are, shocked at all of this lot. This is corruption at its worst. To you, the judges in the Auckland District Court, you're liable. You're all liable. Every policeman in this country is liable. From these documents, I'm making this public statement, in front of the whole world watching that the police have liable Natalie Flower Dew Brown you have liable everybody it's not our problem it's your problem because the judge got you off on that case not this case with me I haven't finished because I haven't had my own court hearing with you subpoenaed into the court to face me you're not going to get away with it you judges and you, Shannon Withers, working with the, the judge in that court to save everybody's ass with this lot of crap documents. I'm telling you people, this seal here of the police logo is just a company logo, nothing more. It is no authority to write these documents as if it's real law. This is not worth the paper it's written on. It's not worth the paper it's written on. That's why the case got thrown out. All that fat fool business on Cook Street with all the hoo-ha and all the police turning up there and all the money spent arresting us all was puff of thin air. It was nothing, as if nothing happened. You stupid judges. Nothing happened. Accuse me of anything I'm saying up against you, as if within a puff of smoke it all disappeared what the police did to us. What the police did to us was criminal. You're going to go for escape, the whole lot of you, with these documents. You're liable for what you did to me. I'm not worrying about anybody else because I told you, Barrister, don't. Tamper with my information with those men. I hired you, and you're being paid by my birth certificate. Prove me wrong. I'm going to prove that you have helped yourself to the money that's come out of my trust with whoever's countersigned my trust that I signed. I want that person pulled into court and slammed the whole lot of you from the British who are liable, you. Because this law is the Pope's law. And I warned you, don't use it on me. I don't care who else you use it on, but don't use it on me. That's probably why you didn't want me in the court in the first place. Why you left me out that day. 8.31am you text me to say the court hearing for me is next week. So that you fellas could rule without me and say it's all over. John, it's all over. <clears throat> That's the most crookedest thing I've ever, ever seen in law. You, Shannon Withers, you've come from America. It's just a stupid crooked there too with Hillary Clinton and Obama. You've brought your corruption here from America. You've brought your corruption here from Greece. You've brought your corruption here in this government with John Key. I'm accusing you all that I didn't win my case. I didn't want, because I wasn't there to see it. I wasn't there to see what you fellas were talking about behind my back. Shannon Withers, you and these stupid papers are going to ram down your throat in the court. You stupid, useless man. I'll accuse you of fraud and corruption and treason against me and my chiefs, Kingi Taurua, and our native 
flag from King William IV. This flag is going to kill you in the court. I'm going to hang you if I want to hang you with these laws in this flag because we're allowed to use them on you. That's what you're worth, hanging. The whole of you with the Queen. You are not worth living on our land. I'm going to boot you off with my chiefs. I'm going to boot you out of here because you're doing that to us, not only me. You're doing it to all my chiefs in this country that can't get anywhere with land because you've screwed them all up with these stupid laws. The Pope demolished them because you were using them for fraud and he said no more. And now you tell me, Shannon, you useless bastard, you tell me that they don't apply to you. The laws that the Pope wrote, canon law, courier law, civil law, UCC law, and mortgage law, you say doesn't apply to you when you're using the fucking things right here, in these documents here. You're using them on me. I warned you, don't use them. Now you're going to have to face the high authority who made those laws and you're playing around with them in your barristers and lawyers in this country whip your ass out of here and the judges and everybody in this court are going to sack you. I'm going to sack the whole lot of you with the confederation and this flag and the British military clean you out. You're not worth living here in New Zealand. Not worth it. Your law has corrupted the whole of this country's law system. That's why I'm gutted with you. Make, make my case fizzle out as if I didn't do anything wrong. <clears throat> and you still got that trespass or order still there. I'm going to whip that thing off. I'm going to whip the whole lot off and those people out of that land. You're going to get locked up. I'm going to make sure you get locked up, the whole lot of you, for doing this with these fraudulent documents. I'm going to make these documents burn themselves to hell. They're going to burn in hell with those, playing with those bits of paper that's got corrupted birth certificate date on it. 8th of August, 1964. Hawani or who the hell is that? That lives here. And then John or that's me, living here with 8th of August, 1949. Who's that other man? You tell me, Shana. Who the hell is that other man that signed on the other end? You've got to have two signatures for the contract. Who's the other signatory, Hawani Wano? You tell me. You, you, you fucking bastards, show me who is the other man that signed, countersigned my signature to pull the money out. You thieving bastards, pull the money out of an account of my inheritance that I'll say is a trillion. Okay, I'm putting a figure on so the British military can come and hang your heads and take that money all off you and everybody else in this country. Okay, I'm very, very disappointed with you people, straight out fraudsters, straight out fraudsters on this video. I'm recording this video so you can make your own decisions up the people in New Zealand. Who's the fool here? Me or the police or the judge with these documents I'm just talking about? Who is the fool and who is the thug? Who is the pirate and who is the law? This flag's the law, the king's flag of admiralty that made the laws for you fucking bastards to get on this land. This flag got you here, not you, Shannon Withers. You got here on this flag under our authority. Now I'm going to get this flag to get you out of here. Out of here. You can leave and hang somewhere else. Okay, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying this on this video. Right in front of you and see what you're going to do about it. You, you, you see what I'm accusing you of, Shannon Willis, just to pull you out to stand with these documents and tell me how did you get your authority to use them? How, who gave you the authority to use them to get me off? Who did you get off? Now, you tell me that. And who signed it? Who signed it besides my signature to get the money out to pay you bastard with? You, especially, Shannon, with us. I didn't get my money's worth out of you. My own money that you robbed. You fucking robber. That's what I'm saying. I know people are watching me. 
they watch me swear. That's normal for me because I'm running a business, a corporate trust business. And it's worth $12.5 at the present time on its value in England. Okay? So I'm going to sting the whole lot of you. Each and every one of you, and John Key, and all he's got them, a whole lot of you is going to get this bill. Okay? For doing that to me. I put those boys on a contract under corporate law. You're playing the corporate game, I'm playing the corporate game. Okay? No matter what I say, is a statement. I'm just swearing a statement in front of God Almighty. It's you who's lying or me. It's you corrupting the system or me. Channel with us. It's you that's lying about these documents, authenticity, or me making up the stories about these. These are not my documents. I'm proving that they are crooked and fraudulent on my land. And it's the same with the same crooked documents on 77 Cook Street that's being corrupted and you're hiding each other behind each other's back. The police are exposed because they're thrown out. The judge threw them out. Now I'm facing you, judge and registrar of that court, Auckland District Court, you're on notice from me and the British military and the British government coming after you. You, you human beings on two legs, white face and bastard system of crooked papers. These papers, you can burn them and nothing happens. You see? When they arrested us with this Natalie Flower Dew Brown, they hid her away in Solomon Islands. Those black people over there might go and hang her before I get to hang her and the Queen. Right? They might to get to, if they know, if they find what they did to me, a native, a true native of this land, before you even fucking got here. My name belongs to this land with Kingi Toto or all those Maori people with the right indigenous surname. The same in Africa and America. The same indigenous surnames got there before your white asses got here with this crap. With this crap. You and your bits of paper that's deceiving, deceptive and fraudulent way of writing in capital. As if to fool me or anybody that's clever enough to know what that is. Then sign it. Somebody has signed those documents as being authentic. The registrar didn't put his name down, so you can't tell which one it was. That's the hidden black hole. The dark forces hidden. So I'm going to screw you out. I'm going to screw you all right in front of the whole world on the video, on Facebook. That's how I do my business in the corporate king court. Right? The king's bench court is talking with my head. Here's my head. There. Now I'm the new world order with this King William the Fourth seal. There's a real seal. Right? Look, people. Look at this hat. There's the real King William IV that put this law together in this country, the Admiralty, the mortgage laws, to get your white asses here on this Maori land. Okay? It's not Maori land, it's Maori land, but Maori in your corporate system. You see, there's a ship of Admiralty at the back of that horse. That's the King and his crown on his eight point star New World Order, eight point star St. Patrick. I'm holding that authority over you white mongrels in the Auckland District Court. That's what you're frightened of. You're frightened of this and this flag of admiralty to Britain that put all these laws together for us and this flag to protect us from pirates. You're pirates. You're pirating our land. Shannon with us. I'm accusing you of pirating our land with these Corrupted, fraudulent documents. They're not even bar association law, which is corrupted as well. But this is the police documents themselves that wrote the law themselves without authority. You have no authority with these documents. The court had no authority to use these documents. 
because they haven't got a law or a parliament stacked up behind them. Only a stupid fucking woman with a white face, blue eyes and a stupid brain that you hid on Solomon Islands. Natalie Flower Dew Brown. That's the worst name ever on this native land that has abused the law. The Crimes Act 1961. You're going for a big skate with this law. You've broken enough laws, Shannon Withers, and you said the judge won't look at those acts I put there for you to tell them. You didn't tell them nothing for me. You told something to something else so that the judge can screw around the whole fraud bit of it and say, case over. Well, I'll be buttered. I'll be blown. How the hell am I convicted and you just walk out the court door and say to me, John, it's all over. You're free to go. Just like a puff of dust, you came and went. And I got nothing out of you. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Waited eight months for a court hearing that you were with your fucking brain, Shannon Withers, barrister, you were in cahoots with the judges of the court and the best lawyers around in the country and the Prime Minister and everybody else to screw your fucking heads together to get off this case with me and these fucking useless documents. You see, that's how I talk normally and I talk in a court like that because you're disgusting. The whole fucking lot of you are white bastard, disgusting animals. Corporate thugs. That's all I can say about you. That's my video today. To appeal to the world watching me with this eight point star, the highest order in the world on my hat from Pope Francis, New World Order. I'm wearing the New World Order and the flag of the New World Order here from Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, as the highest authority in the world. Looking at these stupid documents I could have written better than myself. I'll write something better than this. I, in fact, I scribbled all over them. Now, online, people, I um, conducted this court hearing online to the High Court of Admiralty in London where these are going. They're going not as a complaint, but as a big debtor bill. Big debtor bill that will bankrupt the whole lot of your corporate system here and the government. You're going to lose everything. The whole fucking lot of you, white buggers. Now boot them off, all off, all off the land. This is Moai's corporate company. Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited. From England, UK jurisdiction over this shit bunch of papers. Right? This is the offence, people. I'm just showing you, it doesn't matter how much I swear, I'm just showing you fraud documents of a New Zealand police state law in these papers. I'm showing each one online how they commit fraud for many years and I'm mounting the case right through the years, right back to 1830, King William's flag here, to 1837, all the acts of Westminster applies. That means a hanging rope for this. If it offends me and my chiefs and they say, hang you, you'll hang, Shannon Withers, you'll hang. Because this is saying, you'll hang. Not me. The law here says you'll hang because there's a Hanging in Chains Act right here in this act. Okay, this is the sheriff speaking from the King's Bench Court in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court on Kingi Tauru's ancestral land. It's not your lands, donkey. You're only leasing them, just like anything else in this country. You're there temporarily. Okay, you only got occupation titles. If they're found to be fraud in these documents, you're gone. You're gone. If I prove that these are fraudulent documents in the police, you're gone. The whole lot of you are done. You're going to go for escape because I already know I've had long enough to put this case together to catch you and I caught you. 
and the judge and registrar court you. You can't get away. It's online. Everybody can look at it every single day of their life and see what you did. And try and cover yourself up with a judge. You try to cover yourselves on that land block with the police. It failed. It failed. It got thrown out. So the judge says it's case dismissed. But he carried on with the birth certificate, the money part of this, the bail bond. Right? When I came out of prison, I signed the bail bond with my name, but it didn't have John Wanoa, my normal self. It had Hawani Wanoa. And in capitals, it had Hawani John Wanoa. Capitals. This is deceptive language of these crooked bastards. The crooked bastard put my name, my old name, in whatever they fashioned in these documents. They actually swore to the statements in it. As fraud as they are, the judge bought them from the police. Right? They bought them from the police and they used somebody else to sign the other half of a trust, corporate trust name, those names in John... Hoani John Wanoa in capitals is a corporate trust that I am the beneficiary of that trust to sign as its inheritor. I told Shannon Withers weeks before the court hearing that I'm claiming I want him to claim my inheritance from that name on the birth certificate of the <coughs> uh, bail bond when they blackmailed me. See, I told them blackmail. I want them in the court that woman for blackmailing me with these documents she walked through these doors, right? I'm having her up for blackmail. He didn't fulfill my instructions. He broke my instructions and then exposed all my valuable information, all my evidence to someone else. Why the court got it? Because there's no one else with this type of information to get off a case like this. Those marshals would never get off their case without these documents, right? Because I have the title to Auckland and Waitangi, and I have the authority from the chiefs to use these flag and the authority to use straight to Westminster, England. I just need to go there and you're all over, John Key, and your crooked police, and you are now your crooked judges. I've caught them all up with you. Your name is on those documents, John Key, in the High Court of London, and I just need to action it. Doesn't matter how long these cases are taking, there's no limit to them, because we're in the King's Bench Court. We can have the case strung out for years. Okay? I'm not got no limit on what I can do with these documents. I've written over. They're out there, people. They're online. They're on Facebook. Is that admissible as evidence in the High Court? It's admissible evidence. All that I did is wrote on your documents, Natalie Flower Do Brown, all my story. That's how I got off when I came out of prison. The judge found me innocent of any crime. It should have ended there. But you police, all your colleagues, committed themselves to carrying on that legacy of fraud documents. You committed yourselves, you libeled yourselves to Natalie Flower Dew Brown author documents. Okay? This is a criminal division of the police. Criminal Investigation Bureau. How bad is that? How bad is the criminals themselves are acting in the police and I'm not the criminal? You see? I'm not the criminal. <clears throat> the barrister said to me, all of you are off as if we didn't go in there and we didn't, those boys didn't go and yank them out of the office. It just didn't happen. That's what he just told me with his mouth. Yet his video, his text says something different. My case is to the following way. You see? So at the whim, he took someone's word, the judge's word, as being all over. <clears throat> it doesn't let Natalie Flower Do Brown off the hook because I've got her bones a bit with her in the court. She's going to get yanked in the court. I'll wait here for her to come back from Solomon Islands and she's gone. If my chiefs say hang her, she's going to hang. I'm going to hang her with a rope because of this is treason. 
against our king's law for her own interest. It wasn't in the interest of public and business. It was for the police's own financial means and the judge's means of taking money off me, stealing it, and robbing my account with my name on it and blackmailed me with somebody else signing on the other end. That person, Shannon Withers, you tell me who signed it, but you won't. I bet you shut your bloody mouth. Fucking useless. Useless, good for nothing. Barristers, waste your time. People, you're wasting your time getting a barrister or lawyer coming out of prison. You better do it yourself after this lot. When I clean this lot up, you can do your own case because I more or less did it all myself. I did my own case and my own investigations because I'm a private investigator. Okay? I'm allowed to do what I do. Right? I'm here as a new world order, new law. And this lot is way behind the times. You're in the doldrums, you lot in the court. Your laws are destroyed by the Pope because of the fraud inside them. He got his money out being fraud and then he said, you're on your own. You're on your own, Shannon. I'm going to pop you off one by one on videos like this. Okay? I make nice videos, but this one is a bad one for bad people. When you hear me swearing like that, <coughs> it means the people that I'm accusing is that bad. It's, it's words, nice words are no good for them. They don't understand. They haven't got no guts. No, no feelings, no soul, no nothing. Shannon, you've got nothing. You've got nothing. All you want to do is rob. With this flag being a state of emergency flag, or war, or for pirates on the high seas. And this is on land. This is, this is a high land. You've committed crimes, Shannon Willis. You've committed the biggest fraud in this country and the world for that matter. You've committed the biggest fraud in a police state document. These are not authorized documents in law of this country. This is not the law of New Zealand. This is the police law. And you bought it. You've bought into it. You've sucked yourself right into it like dumbass lawyers. I know more than you, love. You stupid man. You didn't look after me. You looked after your own self. And you screwed the money out of me. Okay, I can't help but say it enough times. So that's what I wanted to say today. And I'll get on to that as soon as I get <clears throat> the shears sorted. In disgust of that. You see all the photos in here of everybody. See? I'm going to put your photos all over the place, Shannon. Like this. As the criminals. These guys are not the criminals. They were contractors to go and do a job they failed to do. They failed to get that land block from me because they weren't up here to do it. They had a go. A go is not good enough. You either know or you don't know law. And Shannon, I'm afraid you don't know law. You're not proficient enough with your job and you should be booted to high heaven out. And your company, Vulcan Chambers, is fucking useless and corrupted. Now I'm saying that because I can say that you did nothing for me and protect my financial investment interests in that land. That's my land and my chief's land. We're going to take it from you and every other fucking land in this country because you can't show me any title that I've got here. You can't show me how you got it, who got you over here on this land and what authority have you got. You can't. That's why you're frustrated, useless, and picking straws. And then your last, your last effort to try and hide your fraud was the judge. I'm afraid the judge is going for a big, long scape and the whole justice system. Judas Collins is the biggest crook of the milk scam, or of either, and so is. Justice, Chief Justice Sean Elias and her husband, Hugh Fletcher. I'm accusing them of fraud because I was there with that Lombard horse scam. 
with <coughs> Doug Graham. He got caught, but he just got a little slap on the hand. He should have been hung too. And you, Sean Elias, you should be hung too because I've got videos on you. Right back. I'm pulling those videos up one by one. You're going to go to court and you're going to get hung too. All of you pirates, I call you. Shana, I call you all pirates because I'm allowed to under this flag of jurisdiction. And my kingy, king, king, kingy total. It's just betting for what I say. And now our marae at the east coast, Te Horo Marae, those old people told me about their land and the government cutting it all up. And their boundaries are just whipped off like that at the whim. A piece of paper like these ones, fraudulent, put together and they've lost their land from the river side because a white man came along and drew it up and chucked them out. Well, I'm putting their titles back together, the same as Kingi Toto's title in Waitangi. I have put them back to their old self-native title and boot you bahias off. Okay? You're going to get fucked out. Out of here. Because of what you're doing to rip us off. You ripped me off, Shannon. You ripped me off. I'm accusing you of ripping me off and you try and take me to court. Because I'll pull these up right in front of your ass and rub your fucking nose in it. The documents here. And you open your fucking mouth and tell everybody whose documents you used to tell the judge to get those fellas off the hook. They didn't use any documents that were effective enough. And Pamir Mackay's papers threw them out. Miranda, Miranda order threw that out. That's what you said to me. The judge won't look at it. You said that. You keep saying the judge won't look at my acts of New Zealand Crimes Act 1961 and 1951. You said the judge won't look at it. And yet they're the very acts that I told you to use on Natalie Fowler Dew Brown in that court supposed to be there with me. And you came up with the feeble excuse of, oh, she's on a contract. She can't just break off and come to the court. This is a judge in a court saying subpoena her to court to show her evidence. Well, she wasn't there to give it, so the judge said she's not here and ruled in the police favour that the case is over because she's not in the court. Because that's what I told you. If she's not there, I rule and take my land back. That's what I said to you. If she's not there for me, not for anybody else, for me, and me standing in the court waiting for her, I never had that court hearing, Shannon because you already had pre-planned, premeditated that keep me out of the court because I was going to go there and shut you all down with this. I was virtually going to go and shut you all down with my little flag of this flag in my pocket because if I walked in with my shirt on, you would not let me in the court. But I had my hat in my pocket ready to walk in there. But because you said it wasn't my court date, I didn't want to go and do it. See, I would have embarrassed the whole lot of you right in front of the whole world. I'm, I'm embarrassing you now. I'm humiliating you like what you humiliated us with photos all over the news, all over the world. You're going to pay for that, Shannon. You put all everybody in this book. The police did all this with those corrupted papers and advertised us around the world. You humiliated us and you have defamed us, especially me. You have defamed me and Maui. Maui is God's law, spirit. That For that cost is one trillion. For everyone who's been using the UCC laws, canon law, career law, <coughs> civil law, and admiralty law, you're all going for escape right to the world with this hat and me wearing it and anybody else that has the authority to wear a hat like this with this flag, okay? I'm talking from that authority and authentication of this hat and this flag. The highest you can ever go, Shannon with us, and your stupid brain, Porani. If the judge said jump off the cliff, you'll be the first to go over the cliff. Right? That's, that's virtually what happened here. 
in your inferior intelligence, you all agreed that those documents were authentic and followed them. Didn't matter how corrupted they looked. It labelled you corrupted. That's all I want to say. I'll now get on with my um, company to put together the um, Constitution and the Articles of Association and the um, prospectus for the shares to raise 12.5 billion or part thereof crowdfunding <coughs> and I'll do it myself right I'll do everything myself Shannon with us I'll do your job myself too and every other job I'll do everything myself I don't need fucking useless bastards like you lot of thugs I'm calling you thugs now in the Auckland District Court, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Since the police failed against me, not against those boys, against me, you're facing the king's authority in any court in the world. Okay? I'll report to King Itauru in a minute and tell him what the hell's going on here. Okay? Well, that's that. I'm going to ring him now, just to catch up with him. He might want a little chat. You see? We could have a downright battle with you people and shut you down. He takes a bit of a while to catch on, but he's got it. He knows, and the chiefs down the East Coast know too. Here goes, Mr. Kimi Toto. Chief of the Chiefs, Waitangi Marae King Bench Court, speak to me. Come on, Kingy. Up the phone. Hello. Kingy. Hey, mate! Your mate, your mate, the Tamaros came to my hui down there. Boise, Tamaro, and, and his brother Bill. Came. They came, they came and gave the koha and, and, and supported what I'm doing. After saying it's a big pipe dream, they said, oh, that's better than anything else I heard. <laughs> Yeah, so that's how it panned out. I get to, to go ahead with the tidal turbines on, on Ranfilly Bank. From, from that marae, from that marae um, uh, uh, Irupainga uh, and, his, and his son Rongupai, they'd gone along with it because they showed them. They had the, they had the internet there, so I put the video on, on the, on the left. Yeah, so they've gone along with me and to you at your marae up there. So now we've pulled our forces together with our business, straight straight to you and, and the business there. No, don't worry about anybody else, just, just you chiefs on that marae and that marae and, and pull, pull them together from that, that angle. And so I get to um, sort the lands out. I've got two of them, and one's right on the rocks. And, and that's what I was waiting for on the 19th of, of September, I'll know I get the one, the land is 37 hectares, oh, I'm right on the best rocks there. So, so now, the, the fellow with the big boat that I went to school with, uh, um, Dick Carlson, he's got the big crayfish boat with, the, with the, all the dive bottles and everything. So that's his father-in-law, Ilu Pona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so him and I uh, are, are just like that, right? I'll never get hungry, Kingy. I'll never, I'll never get hungry and, and, and I'll, I'll be told, don't hop in the water, let those young fellows go. And I said, no, no, I'm going to look too. <laughs> yeah, so um, the land block um, uh, just up from the Marae, the other one I'm getting has got a house on it that goes, uh, Iru said it goes with the land. So there's a, there's a house there. Uh, uh, and Desmond, I had to chuck him out of the way because he went on the bloody... Uh, uh, dope with his with with the Atkins fellas and they came and disrupted my meeting 
And uh, so I booted it. Desmond, my mate Desmond, my nephew. Yeah, no, he gave me a hard time. He gave me, gave me, roughed me up a bit, and and so I booted him now. I booted him be, because he he turned on me. It 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 wouldn't all pass that because him and that other local fellow, that's his cousin, the Atkins. They they've been talking that they want to grow their 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 dope, you see, and. Desmond really thought he was going to manage the land for me, and and he can do what he liked, and so that came to came to bits because his mate Lenny Lenny Atkin was uh, had a crack at me and and Rongpai after, after the old fellows had gone. Yeah, after he came and and really messed, I got it on video. He, him, you can hear him yelling his fucking head off at us, and I said, look, look, this is a landowner's meeting. You're not a landowner. He's not even a landowner there. Yeah, and he's opening his little mouth, like like Desmond. They don't know what they're like when they got dope in them, man. They don't know. They... Yeah, he was until we were talking about the land, and and Desmond wasn't thinking about me on that day. That was my biggest day. He was only thinking about what he was gonna do. You see, because that other fellow told him he'll do the talking. You see. So I said, off you go, out, out of here. Yeah, I had to record it so I can give it to the the the, the, the um, secretary there. I get on really well with the marae, so I've left Rongapai to look after the land for me. And and um, and Richard all going, 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 you know, Richard's taking an interest now, so that'll be good. Um, yeah, yeah, but, but we had a successful meeting there, Kingy. And and now I'm just sorting the finance out, uh, and and the police case, mate. That's the biggest piece of corruption that's ever been with the police, and the judge throwing the case out as if nothing happened. They didn't even let me into the court thingy because they knew I was going in there to shut the whole lot down with my head. Yeah, they know, but they they um, what happened was at 8:31 on the court day. My barrister texts me to say my court hearing is next week. The third time he's put my hearing off, what was going to happen is I would have not gone there on my court day and they were going to shut it all down. You see, that's what they did. But and then I said to them, I'm outside, I'm, I'm here. And then the boys came out and says, oh, we're all off except you. And then my barrister came out and says, oh, everybody's off. And I said, no, I haven't had my case yet in front of the judge. I came here for my case and you said next week. So I'm coming next week. And then when next week came, he says, there's no case, don't go. It's all over. I said, no, that woman, please, I still got a, a case against her and a subpoena. And, and the judge has got rid of it as if, as if I haven't got a case. You see, so I'm taking it to the High Court in London online, can you? And just to let you know, that's my next move against the whole lot of them. The police and their documents that they use have no seal of the court, no seal of the queen, no seal of the... Westminster, no nothing. It's just a police logo. You see, the police, that woman put it together, not the bar association. That's what I was telling the barrister. You fellows are all crooked. You, you, you see, what happens was, the judge dismissed the case th that there was insufficient evidence. The evidence of the citations came from me and the Pope, Francis, destroyed or I told him, cite those. And that's what did it. And, and, and they couldn't do it to me, not those other ones. So, he has used my information in confidential things for those boys to get them all off. And without me, because the text says my court hearing is next week, the following week, and they were, had already predetermined that they were going to get rid of everything and me not there. You see? So they had their hearing without me. I wasn't in the court because... It wasn't my day. It was put off. And it was those boys' day. So those boys are taking all the credit for getting off, and they can't understand its corporate citations that 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 they'll take, not their documents. You see, those boys were were, were using documents that the court won't look at, and they didn't have a lawyer like like myself using corporate against corporate. I registered that company in England, Kingy, and that's what did it. That, that, that company's the creditor over there, UK jurisdiction, whopped them. That's what I was going there with that company to shut them. 
So that's what we got against them now. I, I, I'll finish it off, but I'll just get the shares going now and, and get some put there in. And um, now that the East Coast one's cleared the land for the, for, the, for the project. I can go ahead with that and team it up with your one and your marae straight to England from that, your marae. When the 28th come, we should have that flag up on the pole for good. That, that bugger thing here, with this, with this corrupt thing here, everybody's online now. I've screwed, written all over those documents and showed everybody what, how they committed the fraud and caught them. I've caught, I've, I've, I've caught the police out, they can't do anything, and now I've caught the judge out. Signing, you know, when you get a bail bond, that's a blackmail. I told him it's a blackmail. To, to make me sign, and somebody else had to sign that trust, Kingy, to get the money out. They've paid themselves, and they've received stolen money from my account, and that other person, he wouldn't tell me. That's what I wanted in court, for him to get that person who signed it, and that policewoman who made these documents all up, out of nothing, thin air, to tell me who's the other beneficiary of my estate inheritance. Nothing. Just got blank and dismissed the whole lot as insufficient evidence from the police you see so it made the police having insufficient evidence why he threw the case out no mention of me yeah and you 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 ask yourself where the hell did they get that from where the hell did they those boys will not have that sort of information because i didn't i wasn't there to hear it i only heard that they got off and they said oh only you left now as if to say to me you're the cause of the problem Right? And they walked off with their heads held high as if they did all the work. That's why I got a bone to pick with them, you know, why, 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 why can they explain it? When I go to court in London, the British military and the Navy will fix them up, sort them out. They will have to, Kingy. They will have to sort out this fraud documents. Man, that's the worst crime ever that the police themselves are looking like the criminals. When those boys went in there, I told them, I, 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 I've got a signed contract with them to take that land, and they said they'll do it. Well, they never got the land for me, Kingy. They broke the contract, right? They got us in trouble because they, they, they thought they knew everything, right? And so, and so the police, with them pulling those people out of, the, out of their office by the hair and, and pulling me out, it meant nothing. The, the judge said no case. See? I'm still going to get it. And you're one up there too. When, when I get these documents into the High Court of London, I'll do it now. See? It, we've got reason for, for, for the police caught in the fraud uh, forging these documents. Okay? Forge, the police themselves forge documents. And they're not bar association sealed. The bar has nothing to do with them. They, 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 they did it on their own, right? That's how they're doing all the cases in the court. The police have more, more, more stick over the, the, what the court's doing. Now, the, the, the judge didn't, didn't drop, the police didn't drop the case. There's a big difference between dropping the case and dismissing it. The judge dismissed it because the police had insufficient evidence against me, right? I'm not saying about the boys, I'm talking about myself and my citations. I hadn't seen the justice of. He's used those documents I gave him with the citations from the Pope to, to use to get those boys off as if I'm one of them. I've always told him, I'm paying you out of my birth certificate and my bond for you to do the work for me, and I'm giving you the information for me, not for them. You see, that the injustice between those boys and me, Kingy, is that they'll have to tell me one day how the hell they got off. Show me the evidence of how they got off. There won't be any. Because they don't know corporate law. They don't use corporate law. They don't believe it. Only me. See? Yeah, so that's 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 the good news, Kingy. So it's crayfish time before long. And this time, the crayfish is right at my doorstep there. <laughs> on the 19th of next month, I'll know I can walk on the land on the beach, on, on the rocks on the rocks, right there, and it's 37 hectares, they want the other one is 44 hectares. So they're not two big land blocks, and enough to do something on. I'll take the lease on, and, and the chairman there gave me the authority as well. So I've got a marae, I've got some land, I've got some crayfish, and I've, all I need is to get there. <laughs>
Okay. That, that's my good news. My brain is on your flag going up on the top of the pole and preparing for that with this lot and the finance should be there um, um, you know, after I set it up. Okay. See you, mate. Have a good day. Bye. That's King Toto. There you go. That's the chief. You see? We swear too. We swear when, when something like this happens. Especially when our Maori mates <coughs> are mixed up with the police. I didn't get in trouble with the police. It was them. And But because I'm the one that wrote the contract up for them, then they said I broke into the office too. As if I pulled them by the hair out of the office. You see, I would never do something if I wasn't proficient enough to do it. I'm proficient enough to speak for the king, to speak for Kingi, to speak for the chiefs at the East Coast on their marae, from the marae authority, and they give me the permission to do what I do in the court on these lands because it's our land. You get that? Did you get that, people, watching this video? You might hear me swear, put the swearing aside, the real issue is the fraud. We're looking for fraudsters. We have a business just for fraudsters. That's part of Maui's business. It's justice under the Maui God's Earth Law. L-O-R-E. My word against yours. I haven't heard anyone putting something in front of me, my affidavits online. They are there forever. They are not going to go away. The king law prevails. Okay, now you heard it from the king's mouth. Him talking to me. We're serious, we're dead serious when it comes to land. Who's on, who's on it, who's using it, and who's abusing it. You got your law? We got ours. We got our law in this flag, 1830, 1837. King William IV. Jurisdiction applies. Okay, so if we say hang somebody, if I say to them, I want to hang somebody, that's the law. That's the law. They're cutting people's heads off now, the ISIS heads, right off for doing these things to us. Right? I can do the same too. That's for people who break the law that they are using. They're breaking the law, Shannon Withers. You broke the law. You broke the Crimes Act 1951 and 1961. You broke it. I'm saying this publicly, Shannon Withers and your company, Vulcan Chambers. You broke the law with me. You broke my law too. You broke New Zealand Crimes Act and you broke my King William IV 1838 and 37 Admiralty Court Martial Law. That means hanging. I can say that because it says that in our law. That's a contract, two-way contract with Britain and the Navy and the British military. I can talk like that. It's not for you to say I can't. I'm speaking from a higher authority than yours, Shannon Withers. Your law is not worth the paper it's written on. Okay? Well, that's all I want to say for now. We'll cut it there and get on with the um, shares. I've put the minutes together for uh, Te Horo Marae on what happened and videos uh, because that's the fashion Maui operates. We're straight up. You got any problems with that? Facebook is there to leave a comment. I don't see any comments, so law is the law. Contract is the law and law is the contract. I made a contract with you, Shannon Withers. I made a contract with you when you took me on and you did some work for me. I want you to show me where you got the money from that paid you to do conveyance and to do your barrister law work for me. I want an account of what you did for me, please. Right? Even though I call you a bitch and a son of a bitch of a gun of a fraudster. I want that invoice. I want an account. 
and I want an inventory of my inheritance trust. I'm going to get it, Shannon, and I'm going to see your name right in the middle of it. I'm going to see everyone's name in the middle of it when we get the private investigators from England. Rake you bastards out, right in the open, and humiliate you like this, and put your photo all over the place, just to show who the fucking crook is in all of this lot. It ain't us. It's all those people on Cook Street. You're going to get thrown into jail or hung, one or the other. Hung or put in jail under this New Zealand law, useless fucking system. Not worth the papers written on, right? Because you're running your businesses corrupted. Okay? You know, all of you lot in your clubhouse, your elite clubhouse is coming to pieces. Moai's ripping it to bits because we don't want it here. We're going to bill you first, we're billing you first, 970 million trillion trillion pound note online, then we're going to fuck you out of here. You're gone. That's what I'm saying, that's the strongest words I'll ever use on videos. Exactly that. That's short of a knife through your head by ISIS. The ISIS people are getting chopped off their heads for terrorizing people. Okay? <clears throat> well, that's all I want to say for now. We'll catch you later. I'll get on with my job. I've got a job to do. Finding fraudsters and convicting them or hanging them. Getting ready to hang them. Here. Bye for now.